moon I'm there soon I'm leaving quite early Tomorrow morning Undercover baby Is what you ask of me Hello loves, welcome to my new moon routine for glamour and rest. So I always try to celebrate the new moons. They, I, I just kind of work around the lunar cycles with my practices and whatnot. And I really love the new moon so much. I think when I first started working with lunar magic, I was like super into the full moons and I was just so into them. And as I've kind of progressed, I now just so much look forward to the new moons because um, it's such a good time for rest and it really makes you stop and think about like where you need to be a little bit more gentler with yourself. Maybe if you need some more rest in your life, which I always seem to. Um, and it's all about new beginnings. So it's a great point to just start over or start something new and I think it's so healing and so wonderful. So I wanted to share with you guys my new moon routine. I don't do all of these things every new moon and sometimes I do more, sometimes I do less. And yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite things to do during the new moon. Hello, my loves. So the first things that I wanna show you are my beauty rituals. So my new moon is almost always filled with tons of beauty rituals. This is when I do some glamour magic. I always color and cut my hair. There are a number of ancient indigenous cultures that actually believe if you cut your hair on the new moon, it'll grow faster as it grows with the waxing moon. So this is something I've been doing for probably a year or two. And honestly, my hair is long, so <laughs> probably works. I am also a licensed cosmetologist, so I have access to all these amazing professional products. So I usually mix a one in black with like a three in dark brown for a nice midnight tone. And I just color my hair. I also color my brows at the same time. I color my brows every like two weeks. So I usually do it with the new and the full moon. I have naturally very light eyebrows, but they are there. So I like them to show and match my hair color. I again use something from the beauty supply store, but I used to use just for men and honestly that worked really well. So yeah.
I always find during the new moon that face mask sounds so much more appealing because not only is it a time for reinvention of yourself within your beauty rituals, but it's also a time for rest. And I think that face masks really do that perfectly. They force you to rest for at least 15 minutes and they are just a beautiful way to treat yourself for no reason other than to treat yourself like a goddess. I actually don't really prefer to wear a ton of makeup during my rituals unless it's like a very specific beauty ritual. So I'm just putting on a little bit of something right now and just being very mindful using sigils and my primer and foundation. I have some more videos on that if you want to learn more. And I think more than makeup, I think about what I'm wearing. During the new moon, I always like to wear black because it's very protective. And to me, it symbolizes a brand new start. It's like the void of everything and you can do anything from there. It's a beautiful place to start. It's grounding, connects you to the earth. And I just feel like it sets me up for my new phase. So I just want to give a huge shout out to Dossier who is collaborating with me for this video today. I have two perfumes to show you guys and I love them. Honestly, the new moon's an amazing time to do any sort of beauty routines or glamour routines. As you guys saw, I love to color my hair. That's when I cut my hair. Um, I usually will paint my nails if I haven't already and it's a good time to do any glamour magic So I will leave down below my glamour magic playlist and some of my favorite rituals for that and Something as simple as literally just putting on a good perfume is a ritual within itself because it the senses like smell is so powerful so it's so it's such an amazing way to like lift yourself up and get yourself kind of in the right mind frame these two perfumes today are so good we have fruity neroli and then woody sandalwood and i love both of these because it kind of the woody sandalwood it's kind of like grounding and earthy which is something that i really really need and the fruity neroli it's so pretty it's very fruity and very sweet it's like very feminine i really really love it i love both of these so much and so this kind of this combo just kind of gets me in the headspace of like light and fresh and feminine and just like flowing and being so grounded so this was the perfect combo for me today so if you guys don't know dossier is a perfume company and they reproduce high quality high-end perfumes at a fraction of the price while still maintaining that same smell and quality and so if you have a favorite perfume and it's very expensive you will probably be able to find a like much more affordable one that smells the same they also have a risk-free system which i really love because that way if you get a perfume and you try it and it's just not what you expected you can return it within 30 days and they donate all returns as well which is so amazing they're very sustainable and all of their packaging is recyclable as well you guys already know because i've been working with dossier for a very long time i freaking love these perfumes they are so good i have so many and they're just so so good there's such a variety of scents you can really find something that speaks to you and i love the floralness they have a lot of floral scents a lot of um very, like the way they label them the, the way that they're titled it's very descriptive so you can really find exactly what you're looking for and i just love them all they're so good and they're also always adding a new scents. so if you have a favorite that you're looking for definitely check back every so often because they're always updating it so if you guys want to be scent twins and you want to get your own dossier perfume make sure to use my coupon code you'll get 10 percent off and you can actually use that on top of their already discounted bundle deals so for that when you get three or more perfumes you get 20 percent off and free shipping plus my offer so you'll get 30 percent off and free shipping and dossier also has a new payment method that allows you to earn store credit so at the very end of your checkout make sure to select catch and you will get a $10 bonus credit and you'll get rewarded with a 10% store credit on every order so let me know in the comments below if you are getting any and what scent you got so we could be scent twins and yeah I really love dossier I hope you guys check them out give them some love and yeah let's get back to the video soon 
After I do my glamour magic workings, I move on to my spiritual things and my rest rituals. So something I do every new moon and it always is needed is I clean my house, okay? The Honestly, the waning moon to the new moon is an amazing time for cleansing, both spiritually and physically. So I just make sure that my space is set up with no clutter. I can, you know, start this new cycle and feel refreshed and set up for success. And it's also a spiritual cleansing as well. I do think that cleansing your physical space cleanses your aura because it's your energy, you know, radius, right? It's what you're around, it's what you're breathing in and it's your environment. So I think there's so many positive reasons to add a little physical cleaning ritual into your new moon practices. Once my physical space is cleaned, or at least as clean as it's gonna get, I will either do some aromatherapy or I will light some herbs. I've been loving this Balance essential oil. Um, and if I don't use this, I will go around and do an entire smoke cleansing with some cedar or some lavender to really get the energies cleared. I also love music. You guys know this. I always love to have music on. It feels, it feels like it invites the spirits in. It feels wonderful. So I'm just playing some vinyl because it feels very real and perfect for this time. It just gets me into such a good zone. Of course, it's Lana Del Rey. You guys know how I am. If it's not Lana Del Rey, I will listen to some reggae, some beach vibes, some Phoebe Bridgers, or whatever else I am feeling. I have a couple of spiritual practices I will always do, no matter how busy I am, and that includes pulling some tarot, doing some yoga, and practicing some meditation. The time length that I do it and the length of the spread may vary depending on how much time and energy I have, but this is just something that I feel like is so grounding for me and it's a really safe place for me to come back to every single new moon. I love these cards. These cards are so sweet. They feel truly so healing. So if I'm ever feeling a little tender, a little sensitive, I always go to my Harmony Nice tarot deck because it is very sweet, it's very gentle, and the energy always feels so healing for me. I'm going far beyond where the sun sets. When it comes to the yoga that I do on the new moons, I am not a yoga teacher. I'd love to be someday. I'm certainly not the most advanced, but I like to just do some hip openers. I like to flow and just get connected to my body. The reason I really like the hip openers for the new moon is I feel like it kind of energetically sets me up into a sort of receptive mindset, if that makes sense and my meditation will vary depending on what I'm needing or what I'm feeling. And if I can, I love to come to the beach. I love the beach and it just always makes me feel so refreshed and reset and it's just really so healing for me. And on this day, I actually made a little friend. Look at this little guy. He's really so sweet to hang out with. <laughs> So that is my new moon routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to leave some comments down below and let me know what you do on your new moon routine because I'm always looking for good stuff. And also depending on what astrological sign it's in and how that relates to me, I'm always like in the mood for something different. So I'm always open to new ideas and new things. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all so much and I will see you next time. Bye.